Hello, we're going to look at mucam aldols today. These are acid catalyzed aldols, and particularly it's usually a Lewis acid, such as scandium plus three. So in this, it's much like we did with the previous aldols, but those were base catalyzed. So we need to form a nucleophile from one of the starting ketones. So in this case, the one of the lone pairs on the oxygen will bind to the metal, forming this activated ketone, which is a, either an electrophile or in this case, it's an activated acid. So this proton can be removed. The electrons will move over here to make the pi bond and the electrons will go up to the oxygen. So this is an enolate anion bound to the metal. So remember there is a resonance structure for this where you could draw this as a CH2 where these electrons donate down, form the ketone and the lone pairs on the carbon. And we're still bound to the metal. So this is the nucleophile, and we're gonna see the carbon in red act as the nucleophile. At the same time in solution, another ketone will bind to a metal. And in this case, rather than being deprotonated, the blue carbon, pi bound to the oxygen with the metal pulling the electron density toward it, will feel like an electrophile. So the blue carbon is an electrophile, and the red is a nucleophile. So when we put them in solution, we can see the electrons donating down, this carbon attacking the electrophile, and the electrons go up onto the oxygen. And we form this beta hydroxy ketone. The metal is sitting here under an acidic workup. We will displace the metal that's stabilizing that uh, alkoxide and will form our classic aldol beta hydroxy ketone. 